Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you for joining us today. This is Tuesday, February 1st, uh, Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Hallelujah. I moved our prayer up just because 9 o'clock is just very late on the East Coast. Uh, that's pushing me around 16 hours a day. So I need to push it up so I'm not so tired in the prayer. Hallelujah. But our subject today, hallelujah. It comes out of uh, Isaiah 56, chapter 56, verse 10. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. And it says, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Let me go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now, Lord, and we just say thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we ask you for your help in the name of Jesus. We ask you for power, Lord. We ask that you deliver our mind, Lord. Deliver our hearts and our spirit in the name of Jesus. Now we bind the spirit of deception. We bind every weak spirit, every intimidating spirit in the name of Jesus. We cast you out in Jesus' mighty name. Now, Lord, we pray that you bless this corporate prayer, Father God. We pray for everyone who listens that it is delivered in the name of Jesus, that there be deliverance, Father God, that there be healing. We pray for understanding. We pray for wisdom. We pray for knowledge. And we pray for understanding. In the blessed mighty name of Jesus, amen. Lord, we pray for the Heart of David International Ministries. Continue to take the ministry higher, Father God. Continue to anoint the ministry, anoint the leadership, Father God. Let the leadership continue to seek your face, Father God. Continue to have their own personal relationship with you, Lord. Anoint us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We give you glory, praise, and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Now, let me go ahead and read Isaiah 56, and we're going to go ahead and read verse 10 and 11. <clears throat> verse 10, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand they are all they all look to their own way everyone for his gain who from his quarter mm. hallelujah let's go ahead and read verse 12 come ye say they i will fetch wine and we will fill ourselves with strong drink mm. and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Father God, we pray for all those, Lord. Let them digest this word. Let them receive this word in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to preach, but let me break something down for you real quick. Hallelujah. When he said his watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant. See, the watchmen are blind and they are all ignorant. Hallelujah. The watchmen become blind because they don't have a relationship with God. The watchmen are blind, glory to God, because they are not seeking God. The watchmen, hallelujah, which are the pastors, which are the elders, glory to your name, hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. These are the bishops and the apostles. These are the preachers, the teachers, and evangelists that do not have a relationship with Christ. These are the ones that are greedy. Yeah. 
These are the ones that are greedy. Mm. These are the ones that look for their own gain. They are not worried about souls winning souls to the kingdom. Hallelujah. They are not worrying about helping somebody get delivered. Hey, glory to your name. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Father God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He said, they are all greedy dogs, <clears throat> which can never have enough. You got some people in leadership and they can't never have enough. You want to gain more money. You want to gain more notoriety. Hey, mm. but you're not worried about souls. There's nothing wrong with you gaining notoriety, especially when you preach and sound doctrine. When you preach and sound doctrine and you get notoriety, you get to help people more. Hallelujah. The anointing is there for deliverance. Hallelujah. The anointing is there to heal. Mm. Hallelujah. You want to be delivered and you want to be healed. There's a lot of people in church that need to be healed. They are saved now, but they need to be healed. They need to be healed from that divorce or that bad relationship or what their mama did or what their dad did or even what their co-workers did. What happened at the family reunion? Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It said they can never have enough, and they are shepherds that do not under that cannot understand. You have shepherds that cannot understand because you don't have a prayer life. Are you are you actually praying to get a word from God? Because here's the thing: as a as a minister, a pastor, bishop, you need to keep your own prayer life and your own fasting life. Hallelujah, Lord, give me a word. Lord, help me. Lord, strengthen me and deliver me. Hallelujah. And then you need to go down a second time and say, Lord, whoo, what do you want me to preach to your people? What do you want me to teach them? Lord, anoint me so I can preach this word and sound doctrine so they will have so they can understand. Because <clears throat> I, I found out one thing. Hmm. You can have a congregation of 5,000 people. And as you preaching, that word has to go out into 5,000 different ears so they can understand it, so they can get the uh, revelation or the knowledge of it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Even if you preach in front of 10 people, that word got to go out 10 different ways so they can receive it and it can heal them. Hmm. Hallelujah. You want to have a watchman that have a prayer life with God that God gives them understanding. Hallelujah. You want somebody that has the understanding of the word. You want somebody that is anointed. Hallelujah. You want somebody to still have the fear of the Lord in their life. Hallelujah. They're not resting on the fact that their congregation went to 10 and three years later is up to 25,000. You still got to seek the Lord, whether you got 25,000 or if you don't have nobody. If God telling you to preach to the room, to the atmosphere, you set them chairs up or whatever, you get your Bible, whether you have a pulpit, a stand or whatever, you preach. Hallelujah. Because that's what God told you to do. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In verse 11, let's go back to where they said, and they are, are shepherds that cannot understand. You want to have a shepherd that understands. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. You want to have a shepherd that understands. Hallelujah. Because if you have a shepherd that understands that God is giving you, God is giving the man of God revelation, knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah. He can preach to you better. He can preach with an anointing that can destroy the yoke with an anointing that can get you delivered. No matter what sin or iniquity that you in or transgression or abomination. 
Hallelujah. Because it's the anointing and it's the power of God's word. Remember the watch word. It's the demonstration of the spirit with power. Demonstration of the spirit is part of preaching. Demonstration of the spirit with power is part of preaching. Demonstration of the spirit with power is when you praying for folks and you casting out devils and, and they're getting healed. Hallelujah. What signs and wonders come, what blind eyes are open and the dead raised. Mm. When somebody's arms straighten out, mm. when somebody come back in their right mind. Hallelujah. Maybe they were possessed by a devil because of the demonstration of the spirit with power. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm. That person is delivered and healed. And maybe you may have somebody that is uh, retired and mentally challenged because of the power. Whoo, glory to God. Because the demonstration of the spirit with power will deliver that person. So we're going to pray right now. Hallelujah. Lord, we want the watchmen to always have their eyes open. We don't want blind watchmen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We want shepherds that do understand. So let's go ahead and pray, Lord. And the shepherds today are the pastors. The watchmen are the pastors. So we just going to pray, Lord. We pray for all the pastors, hallelujah, that's preaching your word in sound doctrine. And we're going to pray for the pastors that don't have the understanding, that they will have the understanding. Hallelujah, Lord, that you speak to them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We Okay, we got a few more minutes, so let's go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. We come to you right now and we ask, Lord, we ask that you bless every pastor, Lord. Bless the shepherd, Father God. Bless the watchman, Lord. I pray, we pray that you give us understanding, Lord, that you give us wisdom and knowledge, Lord, that we will rightly divide the word of truth, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you set us up as watchmen. Lord, let us speak only what you tell us to speak. You set us up as shepherds, Lord. We pray that you lead us, Lord, so we can lead them, Father. Lead me in righteousness so I can lead them in the righteousness. In the name of Jesus, we pray for power, Lord. Power in the prayer, power with the demonstration of the spirit, Father God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Let those who have ears, let them hear what thus said the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bless you and we praise you today. We love you, we honor you, we magnify you, and we lift you up in the name of Jesus. Lord, we don't want the shepherds or the watchmen to be blind. Open up their spiritual eyes and open up their spiritual ears, Lord. Open up their spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now, Lord, that you move on oh, every pastor, Lord, not just in this city or in this state, Lord, but all around the world, Father. We ask that you strengthen them and keep them encouraged, Father God. Bind heart attacks, strokes, and aneurysms, Father God. Bind kidney failure and heart failure and liver failure, Father God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pronounce health on the leadership, Father God. Health on the bishop and the apostles, Father God. Health on the pastors and the ministers and evangelists. Lord, we pray that one of them be taken before their time in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus come against you. And Father God, we thank you for opening up doors for us, Father God, so we can preach sound doctrine, Father, that people get delivered, saved, and healed, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you today. We honor you and we magnify you, Lord. Let us walk in your power, Lord. Let us walk in the 
your authority in the spirit, Father God, that you have put upon us, Father. We pray for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we rightly divide the word of truth, Lord. We pray that we can hear with our spiritual hearing, that we can see with our spiritual eyes, Lord. We pray for discernment, Father God. We pray for wise counsel, Father God. Hallelujah, we pray for wisdom, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you and we bless you today. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen again. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory. I just want to let you know before we leave today. Hallelujah. If you don't have a relationship with Christ, all you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. Forgive me, I have sinned. I thank you for washing me in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for cleansing me. I believe that Jesus died on the cross. Hallelujah. And he rose on the third day. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, Lord, we pray for deliverance for everybody. Pray for deliverance, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for deliverance, Lord. We bind every spirit of deception. We bind every spirit of a false doctrine. Hallelujah. We bind confusion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bind misunderstanding and we bind fear. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of witchcraft. Hallelujah. We bind this lunatic spirit. We bind this spirit of a nervous breakdown in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of giving up in the name of Jesus. We pronounce strength right now on you in the name of Jesus. Lord, give us a strategy, Father God. Hallelujah. Let us seek our, let us continue to seek you in this time, Father God. Hallelujah. Times when we don't understand, we want to seek you. Times when we do understand, we want to seek you. Hallelujah. Father God, we want to seek your face right now, Lord. We pray for the power of God to be in our life right now in the name of Jesus. When we're on the job, hallelujah. When we're at home, when we're at the mall, when we're at lunch, we pray for the power of God in the name of of Jesus. Anoint us, Father God, to uh, spread your word, Lord. We know we got to do things in decency and in order, but Lord, we pray for an anointing to do so. Let us give wise counsel, Father God. Hallelujah, Father God. Let us get lost in your presence, Father God. Let us get lost in your word as we read and as we study, Father God. Lord, deliver us again as we pray and as we study your word. Deliver us again as we witness to somebody and as we testify to somebody. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. I said I'm not going to start preaching. Hallelujah. This is our corporate prayer. Remember, we changed our corporate prayer to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's 4 p.m. on the uh, on the West Coast. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. And we're also going to change our uh, midweek service to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be 4 p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific Time. So our Saturday services are at 10 p.m. and now 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm sorry. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Hallelujah. And our midweek service, um, I think I said 6.30 or 7, but I'll let you know. So pray for us, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow doing our midweek service. So let us do the closing prayer. Father God, we pray and thank you for everybody that hears this word, Lord. We pray for strong deliverance, Lord. We pray for healing. Lord, we pray that we can forgive folks, Lord. We pray that we can give mercy to people, Lord, just like you have given mercy to us in the name of Jesus. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you honor in the blessed name of Jesus. 
Be listen, we got a Facebook page and a YouTube page, and they're both the Heart of David International Ministry. Hallelujah. Our website is HODIM.org. Hallelujah. We're still working on our website, so it's not completely done, but you can get the uh, logistics or the basics of it. Okay. Now, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might, of his might. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We pray. Thank you. Have a nice day. Amen.